So I think this is a good cleanser, especially if you do have acne prone skin. Oh, my skin feels so calm. Guayazuline. <laughs> keep it PG-13. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Wish Trend TV. It's your sister Eunice here. And Mehdi. Yay! <laughs> Mehdi, how are you? It's been so long since I last saw you, so I'm very, very excited to be here both with you and our Wish Trenders. We have a wonderful theme for today because we actually asked them on our little YouTube community like service mm -hmm. and we actually had 33% of people who wanted to know more about acne. I feel like this is a subject that everybody has concerns for, you know? It's kind of never-ending. Yeah, it, it's, a, <laughs> it's a never-ending cycle, definitely. Yes. What about you, Eunice? I know that you've experienced it in a little bit earlier, right? Right. In your adolescence. Right, right, right. But for me, I dealt with adult acne. Mm. So, I mean, I'm an adult now. Yeah. <laughs> believe it or not. I do? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. I don't believe it. <laughs> but I think I had severe adult acne starting from 27 to maybe mm. 31 or 2. And right now, um, till this day, I have acne prone skin. Right. But back then, it was so bad that I visited so many different dermatologists and I got prescription drugs. Like, I had to take that. Um, me too. You, uh, you too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was such a bad experience for mm. me personally. Like, not just, of course, like physically and stuff, but mentally too. Mentally as well, yeah. It was so challenging. And I remember I only used, like, you know, um, medicine that they were selling at the hospital because mm. honestly, back in the days, I wish it was like now, you know? Now we have Wish Trend TV. Wish Trend TV, so many like dermatologists, so many content creators that just share the information for free. Right? Yeah. I'm so jealous, but I know. back in the days, it was like, I don't know, we had AOL maybe. <laughs> I feel like today, they're gonna get a lot of answers. They're yes. gonna get, you know, illuminated oh, yes. by Wish Trends knowledge. So I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about products that I know you've used mm. and that some of them I haven't used, but you know, you yeah. have used and then like opposite and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we're all ping pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I am excited for that as well. The first step mm. for your skincare routine mm. is I wake up in the morning, Uh huh. I get my eye boogers out. <laughs> that's important. Oh, that's very important. <laughs> and I take my breath. Uh -huh. <laughs> cleanser. Okay. Cleanser. Cleanser, okay. right? So, oh. what do you think about cleansers? Ah, cleansers and acne. Uh -huh. uh, personally, for me, back in the days, I thought that because I had excessive sebum, right. I broke out. I thought oil, sebums, like they were the main reasons why I broke out right. and I didn't know. So I would use products that literally didn't have high oil content. Uh -huh. So, and I thought that cleansing was so important because that's the time I could get rid of everything, right? So I think I overly just thoroughly cleansed my skin mm -hmm. and that was actually a con because yeah. I overdid it. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, sure. for me, thinking that I'm like meticulously doing this and that. However, I think I was really ruining my skin barrier, mm. and I would be doing it for a long period of time. Right. But actually, I think the cleansing step is very confusing yeah. for a lot of people because most of the comments in the comment section mm. were about cleanser. Like, should I use something that is gonna like dry my mm. acne because like they think that it's good or something right. like that, or should I use something that is gonna calm the acne? Right. right. So if you look at the comments, um, a lot of them. Are are basically like which cleanser should I use mm. like how important it is should I double cleanse like there is so many different questions about cleansing right, right. so I feel like today we're gonna be able to answer them mm -mm, definitely <laughs> personally for me I think this is an OG product I, this is the first <laughs> K-Beauty cleanser that I've used <laughs> Yeah, 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 I knew it. Yeah. The cleanser is right here. Yes. <laughs> this, I, it, it seems like it's been a while since I've seen it, but this is the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. But mm -mm. dude, like it's it's always one of the best sellers. Right, right. It's still being sold like right. in stores and stuff like that. Um, it's everywhere. Yeah. Like every time that you look at the reviews, right, they're right. stellar. So 
I feel like, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know? <laughs> just go with it. Yeah, just yeah, go with it. There must be a reason why it's still very popular. I know. And I think a lot of people do look for like low pH cleansers, especially mm -hmm. for acne, because of course that the pH balance is very important. But to be like frank frankly right honestly even if you splash water on your face your no. ph level is going to become unbalanced right and right, right no matter what you do if you apply your toner on it's gonna become balanced so it kind of doesn't matter I but feel, uh, i yeah. feel like there's a lot of people that you know get kind of lost right into right. like skincare information like then if my ph is like that then i'm not going to be able to use this and then yes. i should do that and ca start calculating everything is level. safe exactly just you know like go with the flow Aww. you trust the product that you bought yeah i feel like that's the best way to go about mm -hmm. it like this is a you know no frill exactly. no like bs cleanser yeah. so it does remove the sebum mm -hmm. dirt makeup sunscreen everything off as a second cleanser right plus i think it doesn't like strip away the necessary moisture that you've been trying to keep all along for sure yeah so i think this is a good cleanser especially if you do have acne prone skin or skin with sensitivity mm. and most likely if you have acne prone skin you're feeling some type of sensitivity around yeah. that area yeah yeah, so, yeah yeah so we've talked about like spot treatments yeah. right and we talked about how you know something can go very wrong if, especially if you use products that are not meant for <laughs> the specific acne that you have so what do you think about those um so there are so many great products mm. but personally for me at wishtrend.com right my, one of my favorites is the by wishtrend clear skin shield patch <sighs> A classic. This is a classic. A classic. Personally for me, I don't like to show sometimes that I'm wearing a patch. And this uh -huh. one, it doesn't show. That's one yeah. of my favorite yeah, reasons. Yeah, yeah. And one thing that I did want to mention though is mm -hmm. sometimes a lot of people leave comments like, Only but the sticker, it's not sticking on. Like what's going on? How can I do this? What am I doing wrong? I want to highly recommend that you cleanse first mm -hmm. and then afterwards, you dry that area down right. and then make sure that you put on the patch first and a lot of people after that they just slather on toner, yeah. serum, yeah, and cream yeah, yeah, yeah. and sunscreen and they go and they're like oh no it's kind of dangling you know i know because i'm that person uh, <laughs> we do it like that yeah. so <laughs> I, i'm always like why isn't it working yeah. you know i feel like i'm doing something wrong uh -huh. and then i try it the way that you just described oh. and it's completely different yeah, yeah so yeah, i'm yeah. always like make sure that you kind of avoid that area yeah. down because yeah, yeah. it's a sticker you know be um, like very gentle with your product and stuff sure, like that avoid sure. the area don't like rub yeah, that yeah, moisture yeah. in over there <laughs> on top you know because it is a mm. sticker actually i mm. think this little packet mm. right there is perfect because you also have like the very big ones yeah 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 yeah, yeah. different sizes yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and there's not too many that comes with like different sizes i know oh, if they do it's usually two yeah like, yeah the very Small. tiny ones where you're like where am I gonna put this? <laughs> I know, and right? the, the ones that are too Huge. big. <laughs> You're like, what? Like, it's, oh, I was gonna say something funny. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, is yeah. it a nipple patch? Or like, <laughs> okay, okay, P uh, keep it PG 13. Yeah, yeah. You have three different sizes, mm -hmm. and you actually have an oval one. Right. And then you have right. a smaller size and bigger size. Yeah, three different shapes, right? And realistically, they're very usable. Mm. Like, as we mentioned, some of them it's too small or too big, but this so, one is perfect so um, i gave my friend one of these and she's really really into makeup she's uh -huh. not a content creator or anything mm -hmm. but she's really into makeup and she says that these are actually so transparent yeah that if she really doesn't want people to see she's able to cover it with makeup as well it works great on top of face so makeup. i didn't know that because i'm not oh. very good at makeup i oh. only do it when i film or something but yeah. she told me that i was like how, how do you do that i know some of them i think if you put on your bb cream or base makeup mm. you can definitely see it in certain angles or right lines. right but this one it's very thin so i think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people love it Okay, Eunice, you're gonna have to go on and on about this because I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I haven't used this. Oh, okay. So, okay. this is the Sulfur 3% Clean Gel, mm -hmm. and this is another way to spot treat your acne, Definitely. right? Tell me everything about this. Sell it to me. Come okay. on. Okay. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, you guys. So, this one, okay, let me tell y'all, there's so many different spot treatments these days, uh -huh. and some are amazing, but others, you might think like, 
what's going on. Right. Like, well, why is it not doing anything? Right. Personally, for me, I think sulfur is an ingredient that you don't see in too many spot treatments, but uh -huh. especially with 3%. So that is kind of high if you think about it. But this is one spot treatment that I was like, oh my gosh, it, it like visibly reduced the size of my pimple. So even 3% with you who has like sensitive, sensitive skin, skin, that uh -huh. was okay? It was okay. But I wanted to tell you the how to's. I'm okay. so glad that you mentioned that uh -huh. because personally for me, what I did the first time I put a very small amount on mm -hmm. that one breakout, that one acne that you know how even if you go near it, it hurts. Mm. It's like the cystic was that that's like crying out at you. Right. You can't even pop it. You can't do anything right, about right, it. But right. it just it's it, not ripe yet. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> uh -huh. exactly. You uh -huh. just you said it exactly. You know, know what's up. Know. You know what's up. I experienced it. <laughs> so those it's perfect to use. Aww. So I get a little q-tip or I just go ahead and put it on my fingers and I put it on top like a mask almost. Aww. That reduces the size significantly the next day. Mm. However, let's say you know sometimes you do have one breakout. Mm. There's times when you have like five like homies. Right. It's not just one homie, <laughs> a group of friends hanging exactly. out together. Exactly. <laughs> and you're like, what do I do? For those times, I know a lot of people want to, like, they want to put a thick layer on. However, if you do that because it has 3% of it, my skin just started peeling afterwards. Like, it was so dried out. So, what I want to recommend is if you want to use it on large areas, make sure you use a very thin layer. That also still helps to calm the breakout down. However, if you have like those big old ones, like, that's like, scream at you, then right. you can just use it as a spot treatment. It's interesting though because first of all, I want to say that sulfur is like a very researched ingredient right, right. like back from the day that mm -hmm. you know they keep on reformulating to come up with mm -hmm. non-drying formulas. Mm -hmm. This one, I... It doesn't smell that bad. Oh, really? I mm. I once bought a sulfur treatment, <laughs> like you know, um, the very famous one in a jar. Yeah. Um, that I bought on oh. my own, but it's it smelled so badly that I couldn't oh, use it, actually. Oh my gosh. Because I'm very sensitive to smells. Sense you, you know how I like my fragrances? Okay, you gotta go to Betty's house. There's <laughs> so many candles and there's so many diffusers. So you know that it smells good. It smells like a luxurious like, like department store. It but so this good. doesn't smell bad. Yeah. Like, I don't... This just smells like skincare to me. Mm -hmm. And I have to really like... <sighs> To, to like smell to. a little bit of the sulfur. Yeah. So, so I, I might try this out actually. Yeah, personally for me too, because we use such a small amount, you can't really smell it. Right. But if you do like go at it and smell it, you can smell yeah, the yeah, yeah. boiled egg, yeah. poison <laughs> type of scent. But it's not like uncomfortable mm. to you. Yeah, and it's not like it's in your face. Like it's like the egg is like in the room. <laughs> Somewhere. You don't know where it there. is, but it's not like here, you know. <laughs> it's not like underneath. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I think especially for acne prone skin, the mm -hmm. thing is because when your skin is so irritated, when it's sensitized, it just starts lacking moisture and for everything. Sure. And that it sends the wrong message to our brain saying, we need more oil. <laughs> <laughs> we need more oil, you know? Your brain and, speaks like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't yours? Or how no. does yours speak like? No, my mine speaks like that. Yo. Oh, <laughs> it speaks like like a old grandpa, you know, oh, done with life. That's cute. Like, I like oh, that. Oh, mine's a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yours is like. What, what was I trying to say? <laughs> moisture. Yes, when your skin's like irritated and it starts lacking moisture, I mm -hmm. think it sends the wrong message to your brain, so right. it starts producing maybe excessive sebum too at the same time. Uh -huh. So I think calming and moisturizing it's the easiest things for your skin, but it's so important. A lot of Koreans though, they do say like in surveys that they do have skin sensitivity right so i think that's one of the things that the products really focus on and yes yeah, so we wanted to introduce you to two different products here mm -hmm. the first one is the robectin lotus water calming toner <laughs> I feel like it. this one is much lighter. I love it. Um, yeah. So this is definitely more of like a toner, you know, like like consistency. It's yeah. just basically water. Exactly. But you know, very hydrating water. Mm -hmm. Fat water. Fat water. <laughs> I like how you said fat that. Water. Fat water. Water that, you know, is fat. <laughs> no, because I feel like the texture itself is watery, but it has that viscosity to it. And when, once you apply it, it's so silky. 
So it does help to moisturize your skin like deep within. Mm -hmm. And I feel like afterwards, one to two layers afterwards, you're like, oh, my skin feels so calm. And then, oh my gosh, where, where, where can we, where do we even start with this one? I feel like we need a whole video just for it. For this one, Especially oh us God. two. <laughs> can we like give it some kind of award? I, like, dun, 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 it's fantastic. <laughs> what I wrote like before to oh. our producer was right. like, I think literally uh, counting the little tubs, the before one in the jar mm. type, the little right, glass right, one. Right, right, right. I was like, I think I've literally used more than a hundred bottles. <laughs> Like, I love this with a passion. There's oh. so many bottles where I cut it up and I get like the nooks and crannies of everything. Especially if you do have acne prone skin, and which I did more so like when I first started my personal YouTube channel too. Mm -hmm. All my videos, you can see me with a little bit of the green thick layer on. I mean, not green, the blue layer on because I would use it almost like a mask. Right. It has gua. Um, Guayazuline. <laughs> I don't know why you have to dance to it. Guayazuline. Guayazuline. Oh, and since Centella Asiatica, which oh. is like one of our favorite ingredients, of right? Course for it calming. Is. So it's so amazing, and I love the fact that it's amazing to calm heated skin too. Mm. So heat it also causes a lot of um, concerns for our skin, especially breakouts too. Right. So for me, I love the way how cooling it is. I love that for tan skin. So if you have a slight sunburn too, this is amazing to use. Mm. Okay, so one thing that we've been talking about today a lot is mm -hmm. breakouts is very stressful. One thing is because it's not that you have one type of concern. If you have concerns of breakouts, it's you have your existing acne right there, and then you have your acne scar next to it, and it's just kind of like a whole thing that you're going through. I feel like my skin <laughs> is so bad at this. Right? Like every time that I have the tiniest pimple, yeah. that's why I, for me it's really important to prevent it with exactly. like, you know, um, like ingredients like tea tree oil mm. and, you know, BHA and stuff like that. Because once it's on my skin, I joked about it in one of my videos. I was like, I feel like once the pimple is dead, mm. its soul is remaining on my face for like <laughs> years and years. It haunts you down <laughs> with it's your like acne ghost. scars. It's like I a know. freaking ghost. <laughs> and I feel like one step that you can take towards, you know, like kind of um, fixing right. that issue that you may have is vitamin C. I love it. I seriously, personally, for me, because I do have sensitive and reactive skin, right. I want, I'm so excited to have this um, Claire's uh, vitamin drop in the box mm -hmm. because sometimes I think when you do have acne scars right. or like um, spots that you do want to remove, then you start adding in really high effective, high percentages of active. For sure. And sometimes that's not always good. Mm. That's not always good. You do have to look into the formulation, how everything works together and for sure. how that product is for you. because. It can work really well for Medi, but it might not work well for me. For either. sure. So for it, sure. it's so different. But this one has 5% of ascorbic acid. So mm -hmm. it's pure vitamin C. However, I feel like this is my first vitamin C that I was able to use for my sensitive skin. It's my first love because it's gentle enough to be used about right. two to three times a week, or you can use it every night for certain people. Mm -hmm. But when I started off, I want to recommend that you do try it in for about two to three times a week. Right. And then afterwards, add more frequency to it and consistently if you use this product it will help with your spots that you want to remove and it will help with acne scars mm -mm. <laughs> okay <laughs> haven't been to the gym in a while sorry yeah. and then the texture itself um I have to admit, at first, I did not like this product. Me too. When you first try it, the texture can feel a little bit oily. Right. But everything soaks in afterwards. Yeah, yeah. and it dries out Definitely. matte. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't leave any, like, oiliness. Like, right now, I don't know if you see on camera, but even to the touch, right, it right. feels like I'm almost applying an oil. Right, right, right. You know? But the way that it dries on your skin, which I might be able to show later, not yeah. right now because I'm applying oh, it, oh but... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> little man. Oh. So it almost feels like I'm applying mm. an oil, yeah. right? But the way that it dries out, exactly. it's super matte. 
I'm not going to be able to show it right now, of mm. course, because I'm in the midst of applying it. Not just for acne scars, but so amazing to remove like uh, skin texture. So it right. will improve right, overall right. uneven skin tone. It's going to get much better. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like these days, no matter what you're doing, you just look kind of tired. Right. But you're not tired. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. I'm feeling great. But your coworkers like, oh. don't you hate that? I hate that. Like when you feel so good in the morning, you're like, you're like yeah. ah. Ah, I'm a little, you know, prettier yeah, than yeah, usual yeah. today. And then, and then like, you go out and they're like, Oh, what's the news? I'm like, I'm good. I'm just That's not so wearing funny. lipstick, you know? That's so funny. But yeah. yeah, so if you feel like your skin tone is a little dull, yeah. then maybe that's one of the products that you might want to... Oh, Eunice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's the time to show that. Everything's so thin. Yeah. Everything's so thin. And one thing, when I first tried it, like it, you can hint, you can feel that hint of warmth. Right. And that scared me at first. I was like, what is that for a second? It uh -huh. doesn't sting or anything, but I was like, whoa, what's that? But it's totally natural. It's the vitamin C uh, in the serum reacting when it meets your skin. And right. it's only gonna last for about a few seconds and it goes away. So that's to totally normal. I wanted to let you guys know that. Okay, Eunice, now the cherry on top. Mm of this beautiful cake that we have been making together okay. on oh. this video. Um, sunscreen. I feel like if you don't apply sunscreen, this is basically throwing all of this exactly. to the trash. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like, I feel like sunscreen is so... Um, if you only want to buy one skincare product, it would be sunscreen. Right? In my opinion. If you're a teen and you're right. like, only what do we do then? Because a lot of people are, you know, caring for not only acne, yeah. but hyperpigmentation, yeah. sensitivity, rosacea, right, which right. all of that can be, you know, triggered right. or um, influenced by the sun. So I feel like if you don't use sunscreen, you're basically lost. I was gonna sing, but sorry, I just held myself <laughs> back. I was like, so lost and so comfy. What, it's, what it's a song is song. that? <laughs> it's a church song. Sorry, so <laughs> you, uh, back in the days, it was okay. Okay, <laughs> but lost and confused, you shall be I if know. you don't use sunscreen. Exacto mento. Yes. Oh so, my gosh. What is your experience with sunscreen? Well, sunscreen is definitely a must. I know that it feels like, and some people did say this, like it, some people say, like I think. I'm breaking out because of my sunscreen. Mm. I mean, technically it may be, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you have to wear your sunscreen. Oh. Like, as you mentioned before, it's the core thing to do For to sure. protect your skin. Sure. Even if you're using all the amazing products as we mentioned here, mm -hmm. it's not gonna help if you are not wearing sunscreen. That's you know? why I think we kept on reminding everyone right now. This is our storytelling yeah. was to remind everyone that sunscreen is so important. For sure. And I'm so glad that they have this one that we both really like. Mm -hmm. This is the Robectin Aqua Soothing UV Protector. Mm -hmm. And personally for me though, I don't like sunscreens with a white cast. Yeah. But when my skin is really sensitized, uh -huh. I like using this one. This is so good. So mm -hmm. I never, mm -hmm. never use mineral sunscreen. So how about you show them, yeah. you know, the white cast or lack thereof on your hand? Actually, I just applied one layer and it's it's totally layered. Oh, though. okay, 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 good. So I can show you. Okay, good. So it looks, when you first apply it, it looks like, oh, oh crap. That's what I was oh, worried. That's what you're worried about? <laughs> that's the step where I was worried. But everything soaks in really nicely. Mm -hmm. And personally for me, I like this because it's moisturizing. Right. And at the end, it's like right. semi-matte. Yeah. So it's not like it doesn't look oily nor tacky. And actually a lot of people who, you know, get like very tingly, watery eyes from mm. the chemical sunscreens oh, yeah. are gonna love this oh, one. Oh yeah. And what you can do, even though you don't want to use the mineral sunscreen all over your face, mm -hmm. what you can do is um sometimes what so some I like to wear lenses. Mm. TMI. Sorry, uh, indulge. Or, I'm wearing lens too. I'm oh, I am too right oh. now, but I sometimes it makes my eyes a little sensitive. Yeah, yeah. So it makes them more watery when I wear sunscreen. Screen, mm. what I do is that I use this one around my eyes mm. and I don't feel any like tingly sensation right. any like watering eyes or whatever and then on the rest of my face I use the chemical sunscreen that I usually use mm -hmm. so even if you're not like super a fan of mineral sunscreen mm -hmm. I feel like it could be used as like an eye sunscreen right you know right, what I mean right. So. And I think compared to other non-chemical sunscreens, this one, it does have a bit of a white cast. 
but it's not tiny extreme. Bit. It's a tiny, tiny bit. bit. Yeah. And it's not tacky though. And right now I did double layer, mm. two layers. So I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little bit. I'll, I'll show you guys later, but it's a little bit different. There's no like huge difference. Yeah, and you know when you look into the nooks and crannies, like the wrinkles and stuff like that, some like non-chemicals, yes. it always creases. Yes. But this one doesn't do that. And that's one thing that I really like about it. Mm -hmm. oh. So, you guys, <laughs> sunscreen is <laughs> a must. Yes. So, ah, I know that Oni's gonna get a little bit emotional. <laughs> but I just wanted to share with everyone that this is a long journey, mm -hmm. as, as you mentioned too. Yeah. And I feel like uh, you need to really keep your head up, and um, it might be an ongoing process for a long time. And mm -hmm. I know that, like, physically, it's stressful and mentally it's really stressful and it can really get to you I mean there was a point in my life where I didn't want to meet my sorry Derek sorry to my husband but <laughs> I didn't want to see my ex-boyfriend in the uh, daylight because I was right, so right. embarrassed of all the bumps I had mm. and at night you know how like it's kind of covered with all right. the dim lights but if you go in daylight you can really see the bumps and the breakouts so no makeup can cover that yeah. you know and there was a period of time where it was really severe for my in my life that it was so stressful and i asked myself i'm like what am i doing wrong mm. like because i never dealt with adults acne even in my teens i never had right. breakouts so right. it was really difficult for me so i just want to tell wish trenders that we know it can get really stressful and you're not alone and wish trend is here to help you Mediopas here, Unix <laughs> sisters here, you know? And this curation is just amazing. Um, it's not just made within one day. This is a set of curation that the producers, the staff here, the professionals here, they really um, try this routine for a long period of time to actually uh, make sure that we can recommend it to our wish trenders with the specific concerns. So I feel like right now you can get it with a really good price. Like almost yeah, near to the staff system. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So it's a really right. good price. Oh. So this is 45% discount right now and we will leave all the details in the description. Yes. The description is a wonderful place. A wonderful place <laughs> that you should get, always visit. You should always visit. <laughs>